Hey, welcome wait, wait, to so this week's. Sorry, I, I thought the camera was over by the record button. It's over there. Okay. Other side of the microphone. Got it. Okay, I may just still leave that in. Got it. Welcome right. to this week's episode. Vlog four for me. Vlog four. I'm kind of proud of myself. It's rookie numbers. I know. Numbers. Rookie numbers. Hey, uh, in Liverpool this week, and I'm with my son Nate, who does not live here. So I didn't lie to the immigration officer last night when I came in and saying I'm meeting my son because she said, Does he live here? And I'm like, No, not no. really. He's hiding from the Spanish government. He's just government. hiding from the Spanish government for a little bit. <laughs> That's me. So, hey, uh, I'm here with Nate, and so I kind of had this idea of doing this week's vlog live from Liverpool. Well, not live by the time you see it from, <laughs> from Liverpool. Live for me. Yeah, because last week was so, last week, I don't know if you saw it, but I, I did the, hey, I'm on my way to Spain, kind of talking through the journey mm -hmm. step by step. Yeah. And now I'm beginning the journey home. Sad. But I'm stopping to see here. But the cool news is I get to see Nate in just a few weeks. Yeah, so in a, in a couple weeks, we're actually, as the as half of our family now lives abroad overseas. Um, Crazy. We, uh, we're meeting in Paris for Christmas. Because dreams do come true. So, travel hacking, which I'm sure I'll have a whole episode at some point about three things that you could do to get your first free airplane ticket. Mm. Because it's closer than you think. But, for this week, uh, I kind of had two ideas about what we could do for this vlog. Uh, you know, one was that we could sit in the background and create this really nifty idea of like, you know, what was the message or discussion we really want to... But that's not really our family. We just kind of go for it, right? <laughs> is that fair? Yeah. Which is why Nate's in Liverpool, right? <laughs> yeah, which is why I'm living in Liverpool. Which is all good. So I decided for option two was just to take a couple minutes and... Uh, this is weird for me as a dad, but I'm sitting here just having a conversation in Liverpool with my son, who I dropped in on while I was working in Europe this past week. That's kind of cool. Yeah, didn't think that's where we'd be uh, back in my homeschool days. Homeschool. Ah, uh, homeschool. We, uh, yeah. Uh, but anyways, if you're new to this channel, this is my son Nate, my, my eldest, my only son, who, uh, is in a great position because he not only gets to hear again and again, you're my favorite son. Mm -hmm. I'm the youngest of five guys, five boys. So they all say that I was the favorite and that's probably accurate. I, I accept it now. If any of my brothers are watching, I, I, like I said, I just acknowledge that truth. Don't, play, don't hate the player, hate the game. That's right. But uh, it's also his wife, Sarah, is my favorite daughter-in-law. So it's like a twofer. Yeah. It's a good deal. It is a good He's deal. He's sitting in a great situation. And I may or may not have uh, brought food in my suitcase into the UK without declaring it. But that's, we won't talk about that either. Neither here, neither. Because uh, we have to supply him with key things, uh, including but not limited to peanut butter. You have always loved peanut butter. Always loved peanut butter. Like, seriously love peanut butter. Always. Always. Why? Spoon, peanut butter. Yep. Uh, simple, delicious protein. I don't know. Okay. Peanut butter. Maybe a little, it's a little scandalous. Could be. It's a little scandalous. But also brought supplies for him to make a birthday cake for his wife when she comes and meets him. Mm -hmm. Are you guys meeting here or meeting in London? So the plan is to meet in Liverpool for a couple of days before flying to Paris, and then we'll travel to London and then back to Spain. Are you nervous about making the cake? No, I've been, uh, I am somewhat of a, I, I cook for the, my host family here in Liverpool that I live with uh, every Tuesday, and uh, I'm being trained up. Okay. Basically, I should be paying for cooking. There it is. Uh, he's going to do, on uh, all sorts of adventure, I'm sure, a vlog on how to be the most amazing house guest ever. Uh, maybe I should, yeah. How to embrace it, yeah, sure. If you don't know, Nate and Sarah have a channel called All Sorts of Adventure. You should go check them out on the YouTubes. Mm -hmm. We're adventurers with a budget. And, uh, actually, this is kind of cool because uh, Mom and I got to appear on one of your vlogs this summer up in Alaska. Yeah, yeah. And in my new little infantile blog, uh, or mm -hmm. vlog, you're, you're appearing here. Pretty excited. Yeah. So, two questions I have for you this morning. Okay. Okay? So, what would you say to your dad 
as he's trying to get this channel going. So what, what would you say to me that's the most important thing I need to practice in trying to get this channel going? Two things. Man, we didn't have any talk about this. This is just like spur of the moment. My two things, I can easily say first, uh, first is you're not, uh, maybe some would argue this, um, you're not a creator. Well, one, when you create, like you innovate, that's kind of like the thing. It's like, our mantra it's right mantra now. It's our mantra now. Uh, when you create, you innovate, and unless you're actually sharing what you create, um, your influence and your impact, your, your positive, positive value you have to add to people's lives isn't going to be added or shared at all. I've been making videos since I was mm. like 12, yeah, 13. Probably younger. Since like I had a camera and learned how to get video from a from a tape onto a computer and uh, never shared anything. Did videos to Africa or whatever. Point being like I didn't share any of that with anybody. And maybe some of the stuff I made could have had a positive impact or at least brought in my influence. Um, which, so now here I am at 25, like trying to like, catch up and, and enjoy and share my passion. So point being, don't be afraid to create and don't be afraid to share what you create. So here I am at 50, knowing that I feel like I'm trying to catch up to my, my, my younglings, my younglings. So right now we've got uh, you and Sarah that have all sorts of adventure and all sorts of learning. All sorts of learning, yep. Um, we've got Emily, that's mventures.com. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've got uh, Emily is uh, his older younger sister and then we've got Nicole who's creating music like crazy yeah. so she's gonna figure out what channel she's gonna use to start distributing that um, so which is my second question what's your favorite part about creating I don't think I answered my second did I answer both questions question? yeah. well no no you answered the two things that, about that but I'm saying second question okay. is what do you love about creating um I think so personally there's a, it's a very, creating is a very healthy outlet for me. Um, there's just, I don't, I don't think you can, I think creating allows you to uh, get a, maybe like a little bit of higher satisfaction that you can't get from anything else. Like when you, like when you create, you have the potential to add value, like when you innovate, it's not like, it's cheesy. But you have the potential to add value to other people because of an idea you had and you made a reality. Mm -hmm. So, like, in, like creating, innovating, like light bulb, telephone, like I mean, Facebook, whatever. Like, like, granted, I know Zuckerberg shenanigans. Maybe don't, maybe don't tell myself short. I got time. But um, when you create, you innovate, and not only impact your own life, but you can potentially positively impact the lives of others. That's pretty powerful. So when they were kids, we had the, in, in our homeschool environment that readers were? Leaders. Writers were igniters. Igniters. Yeah. Gamers. Lamers. Trying to Sorry. keep them from Sorry. not playing too many games. So if you're a gamer, it was, it was about focus yeah. in school. So don't, don't <laughs> send too much hate on them. But uh, so I like this creators and innovators. I like this. Mm -hmm. it it's it's kind of going with the theme. It is going with the theme. So uh, sitting here. Uh, coming to you from Liverpool this week with mi hijo. I just came from Spain, so Spanish is really, really on my mind. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited about Christmas. I'm stoked about Christmas. So right now, this week, we had four of the six of us in Europe. So we just had two of the six that had they joined us this week, we would have all been over here. Uh, at one moment, we were in four different countries, and then it was just three different countries. Now, it'll just still be three, but then it's three, three, three in the U.S., three in Europe. But in just a few short weeks, we'll all be in Europe. It's a lot to share on the There's a lot of things here. Good stuff. Creating. By the way, uh, if you're interested, the reason why I'm going to create the video on travel hacking, the round-trip airfare for my wife, Anneli, my daughter, Nicole, and I to get to... Paris was $83 a ticket. Fact. Fact. So, from the United States, yeah? Yeah, from the United States. Good deal. To Charles de Gaulle. Good deal. Yeah. That, that makes travel affordable. Got an Airbnb for a thousand bucks for the week for six of us, which I think was pretty amazing. Yeah, over Christmas. Over Christmas. New Year's. But, so, 
Any last words? Um, I don't think so. This is good? This is good, yeah. It's a good time. It's a good time. I'm kind of excited. It's only Monday. I've got this week's vlog shot. I'm, I don't do a whole lot of editing if you haven't figured that out. <laughs> and so, from me to my 11 subscribers. 11, I'm up to 11. Dude. Dude. I'm kind of excited. I think there's definitely more people watching my YouTube videos than reading my blog. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's the way life is. So live from Liverpool, back to you in the studio. Adios. El Wiedersehen. Dovitsenia. Bye. Ciao.